So now you guys are going to intimidate me. Good luck with that. That's not even fucking happening. Do you guys know where I had to walk in my life because of the fucking clown ass parents that you guys were? My father was out spending his whole life getting fucked up on a boat, making 150 grand a year. Uh, pills and alcohol and fucking constantly smoking weed. So this is what I was raised around. And at least I just stopped at the weed. And that's where, like, I mean, I did my shit when I was younger. Never went into dope, never went into crack, never really fucked around with hard drugs, but definitely smoked some weed. My dad showed me this. My mother, as soon as she watched these videos, she went, you motherfucker, all right? That's what she said. Guaranteed on everything in my word. She said that. That's exactly what she said. Now they're going to start calling people and saying that I'm manipulating my daughter. Good luck with that, okay? You guys are done with your claws in me. We're not playing this anymore. You guys spent a lifetime trying to control and manipulate everything that I did. My, my mother, hockey, hockey championship game, forced me to shave my head because she didn't like my haircut. Like, what kind of... Why would you be like that? Why would you be so oppressive and such a tyrant? My father, the same thing. A tyrant. If I don't listen to him, then I'm a fuck up and I'm a loser and I'm this and that. Now, mind you, with my father, I never really hit on this shit with my father. But let's get into this. My father is real close with my aunt. But here's the thing. That's my father. So as we were sitting there and conversations happened between him and my aunt, he always undermined her. She don't know shit. Blah, blah, blah. He's so fucking superior in his mind. Nah, 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 nah. That's some fucking bullshit, too. You know why? Because your sister was good to you, and she always looked out for you. But you know what? Regardless of what I got going on with my aunt, yo, you talk shit on these people. Tori, right? Tori ain't never been on a fucking boat, put a trip on ever in his whole life. You're a shit talker, okay? And then you accomplish nothing, just like you told me, right? Want to wipe some fucking kill on it, Jim, right? How's your leg, dude? Okay, and I don't even want to say that because I don't think that it's funny, but I tried for years and years while I was eating healthy and I was feeding my kids healthy, right? You were trying to clown me because I was eating good and my kids were eating good. So instead of following along with what I was doing, because it's me and you are showing me shit. That's what you used to say to me. Dude, what happened? What happened? You sat on a boat and you ate fucking ramens until your leg fell off, till they chopped your leg off. You neglected your wounds on your feet, and that led to more and more and more of your feet being taken, your leg all the way up. Dude, you're, you're a result of your own actions. You are your own worst enemy in this life. Same thing with my mother. You've been your own worst enemy in your life, okay? And you're going to sit there and say, you motherfucker, for me talking the truth? No, 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 no. You deserve where you're at. You accumulated your karma. Nobody wants to be around you. Ma, your best friend doesn't want to talk to you anymore. She don't talk to you anymore. Why? Because she's seen how you were acting. She's seen who you were. She took off, went to God, and you sit right there on the couch, miserable as can be, making phone calls, trying to call DCF, trying to get my daughter taken away from me, right? Now you're going to call people again, and you're going to fuck with me again because I put you out there? Too bad. Too bad. Good. I hope you like it. You deserve it. We should be talking about this. My job here is to expose the evil. I'm exposing the evil that's taking place in my life and the people around me, all right? Before we deal, before we battle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness, and the members of the enemies can be the members of your own home. And you know what? You guys all turned against me as soon as I started changing. The look in my aunt's eyes when I was talking about God, uh, the look of disgust, yo, that's that's in your heart. Not, not my fault, not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not coming back. You guys can try and pull whatever temper tantrums you want, okay? My father goes and stays with my mother, and then months later, they're on the phone talking, all right? As I get pulled over and bagged, I know my father was in the background. Just because there was no communication directly, I know you were in the background. I know that you were there. I know that you had plenty to say, plenty to do. I know this. But what people don't know is the shit you said to me behind closed doors. We're going to talk about that. Tori, to say something about Tori, say what you said to me about Tori, because I said it to Auntie Kim and she got mad at me. She got mad at me because of what I said. I didn't say that. That was your words coming out of my mouth. And you know what? You were right about that. But at the same time, that kid's doing his thing and he's doing good. And he was groomed and raised because his father groomed and raised him to be the man. 
You went out and did your own thing. You got fucked up all through your lifetime. And now I'm the problem. Get fucking real. You guys have lost your shit. You are not going to control me. I'm a grown man. You guys in your, what is it? You guys are trying to redeem yourself through my children for the shit you did. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm good. You know why? Because the biggest lesson I ever learned from you guys was not to be a shit parent. Okay? So then, growing up, as I went through the shit that I went through, I connected with this girl. Okay? And I allowed manipulation to happen. And looking back, I see all the red flags that I ignored. If you guys taught me this shit when I was young and how to move with people and how to see things with people, I would have never been involved in this. But because of the brokenness in me, I accepted the things that this girl put me through. I accepted the most fucked up shit. Being bit, being punched, being kicked in the balls, being kicked in the face on Christmas morning, holding my son in my arms. I never hit that girl. One fucking punch, I would have knocked that girl right out. Never happened. Never happened because I accepted it and I endured it. And these are why my children came as blessings. Because I endured the hardships, the times. And I stayed 10 toes in on being a dad. 24-7, y'all. And now you guys are going to hate on me? You guys are going to hate on me? Y'all are going to move against me? Because I called you guys out? What's the matter? What's the matter? You don't like the truth being exposed. You don't like the truth. You guys tried to smear my name. You went along with the shit. You guys all tried to participate in this. You guys love your little fucking network of Mephinians, right? Seriously. You guys love the drama. You were raised on the drama. You stay on the drama. This is why I left. I've been up here 10 years. I'm not coming back. You guys aren't going to see me again. This is the only way you're going to be able to see me again. Promise that. I am not coming around you guys again. You guys were horrible in my lifetime. I ain't sweating this. None of it. I have to let this go. I love you guys. I still love you guys. I will not fuck with you guys anymore. Goodbye. That's a fucking rap. You moved against me. You fucked with my children. Dad, okay? Because of all the shit that I said to you about the shit that you sucked at being a father, you couldn't wait to fucking have that same shit be on me. That's some fucked up shit, dude. You wanted to see me lose my children? Karen, you wanted to see me lose my children? Kim, my aunt Kim, okay? You wanted to see me lose my children? Nah, I ain't even doing that. I walk in my aunt's house, my cousin's calling her by her first name. How fucking disrespectful can you be, Jake? Okay? The only one that gave me a hug was my was my cousin Dennis. And I love you forever for that. I will never forget because in the midst of all these people talking shit, you still showed me love. And I love you for that forever. And that just shows me your heart and your soul. And that's that. They shouldn't have went against me. You guys shouldn't have went against me. Okay? My family moved against me. They tried to have my children taken from me. They tried to help. They did not offer any assistance. They didn't give a shit. They friggin' went along with the band. And now we're going to play to my tune. I'm not tapping. I'm not taking any of this stuff down. I'm going to keep up everything that I posted. You guys can say whatever you want. I have healed. You guys got some healing to do. Seriously, all of you that moved against me. You guys are on some other shit. Really seriously. After the life that I led, you weren't proud of me. You guys all hated on me. I said at Christmas, I was like, yeah, I made 10 grand this month. Make six grand in the last two weeks is the exact thing I said. And I'll remember, I'll never forget looking at faces and being like, Ugh. why? Because you guys aren't doing that. And now I finally step into the the industry that I was supposed to be a fucking part of if my father wasn't running around being a fucking retard his whole life. And now I'm an asshole. I don't get fucked up. Just quit smoking weed. I don't drink. I don't do shit. I went fishing for years and I came home and I was dad. And during that time I was smoking weed. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, right. I'm, I'm a bad guy because I'm at my aunt's house and I roll one at the table and I laughed about it. Nah, too bad. You guys are asking, you're asking Ann's, Ann's daughter at 24 if she's okay to drive after she had mad drinks and you guys are going to look at me like I did something fucked up? Yo, what if that little girl left and fucking smashed into somebody and killed somebody or killed herself and you guys are going to shit on me? Mm, no, I don't think so because I would never let my children or my nieces or my nephews walk out of the house. You're going to sit down, you're going to have a cup of coffee, you're going to eat something. I'm going to be, are you all right to drive? Nah, fuck all that. Okay, this was a, this is 
You guys don't believe in conspiracies? You guys committed a conspiracy together. You went behind my back. You went behind my back. You were in cahoots with my ex. Okay, you were looking for a reason to not like me. And that's fine. But now we're gonna we're gonna deal and dish out the consequences. And the only consequences is you guys will never be fucking allowed near me again. You guys have showed who you are. I will never play with you guys again. Never. I will never go near you guys again. That's it. No Della Russo's, nothing like that. I don't care. That's it. You will never have the privilege of being around my daughter again. Okay? You can watch from here. And this is the only place you'll ever get to see me again. Regret's a motherfucker. Serious. So, let it be. Do what you want. Call whoever you want. Say whatever you want. I know my rights. I know my rights better than you guys do. I know my rights better than you guys do. Do your thing. Do what you gotta do. I'm calling you all out. Call you all out. There's a reason, Karen, why Pauline doesn't like you no more. And it's not that she doesn't love you. She doesn't like who you've become. And I, I know that for a fact. And not only that, that woman was there to witness time and time and time and time, time again, all the times you call me, you little motherfucker. Oh yeah? It's time you guys are exposed for the shit that you did. Because it's totally fucked up. You're a bunch of shit-talking, backstabbing motherfuckers. And I'll never come near you again. I love you. Forever. I love you forever. But you know what? We're only family by blood. We're not family by anything else. Okay? I'll always care about you guys, but what you did was dirty. And I'm not ever folding on this. I don't care what I need. You guys left me in my time of need while my children were taken from me. You didn't want to hear shit I had to say. You looked at me in the most disgusted, fucking nasty way that you guys could look at me. I'm family. You know, and you guys played me like that. That's all right. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not bitter. I'm, I'm happy in my life and how things are going. But I see the hand moving behind. I see the people coming out starting to say things to where, like, I'm a bad guy. No, 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 no. This is all necessary. This is all, like, my daughter, she said it herself, 13 years old, this is necessary. She knows that all you guys talk shit to her about me. You guys were supposed to help while I went fishing, and you guys talk shit about me. You guys tried to turn my daughter against me. You guys tried to manipulate my daughter's mind to where my daughter didn't like me. Are you, are you fucked up? That's because I was doing it, and you guys weren't. You were stuck in the same cycles of doing the same shit that you'll forever be stuck in. And I'm doing what I want. And I'll continue to do what I want because I'm not bothering nobody. So like it, love it, hate it. Deal with the consequences of your actions. You just never thought that I would be on this side. And you never thought that we'd be playing my game. You guys thought that you were going to collapse me, trip me, make me fall, take my daughter, push me to go fishing, and then be the puppet masters that controlled the whole scene. I'm a dad. Dad, watch. Take notes. Karen, watch how the children raise when they're cared for. You didn't care for me. My father didn't care for me. My aunt couldn't because it's her brother's son and not only that my mother and my aunt you guys were never friends you never liked each other but you'll come together to go against me unacceptable unacceptable no way this is the season of exposure and you, you guys can all get it i don't care i'm calling everybody out everybody that i seen do fucked up messed up shit you're coming out of the darkness, and you are being exposed by the light, okay? I really turned myself around, and because you guys didn't want to believe it, you moved against me. You heard some chicks here say, okay? You heard some chicks here say, who smashed me, beat me, and fucking bit me multiple times, hit me with every single one of my children in her arms, not for calling her names and beating her up, not for being wrong, but because I called her, her on her bullshit. So, that caused fits of rage. 
smashed in the head with a freaking baby bottle, smashed in the head with a mason jaw, smashed in the head with a fire extinguisher, my daughter smashed with a tablet, my son beaten on camera by this chick, and you guys backed her. You backed her and then moved against me? No. No. There will be no reconciliation here. This is closure. Some things you can't undo. You guys should have never did what you did. Never. I'm disgusted in all of you guys. And I'll forever till the day that I die, I'll be disgusted that you guys did this. But I'm not better. I'm chilling. I'm having quite a good time with my daughter. And we've been spending plenty of quality time together. Life's been real good. And things are looking up, 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 up. Because I'm not going to stop. Now you forget, while you guys think you're the shit, that same blood runs through my veins. But you know what? I actually got that. And I got the skill set. I see the trolls coming out of the woodwork, working for you guys. I see the people talking about sovereign citizen. I'm not a fucking sovereign citizen. I know what that is. That's an oxymoron. That'll get you 72 hours in the fucking psych eval. You know why? Because a sovereign is master oneself. A citizen is a slave. I'm a master slave. You guys don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're doing. You don't like it either. That's tough shit. This is my life. And you guys don't respect that. And you never have. And you've always looked down on me. But here's the deal. I come from you guys. And I went through that shit because you failed to care. You failed to move. You failed to do what you were supposed to do. And you left me to the world. You just never thought I'd come back as strong as I did. And you have no idea what the hell I was up here doing for 10 years. None. I was up here trying to build a farm and raise my children. They were all raised organic. And you guys don't even eat like that. I was raising all those kids all organic. Best I could. Just about everything that came into that house. I spent every penny in every second of my time making sure that they lived the best they could while I had this girl behind the scenes fucking playing games manipulating my mind talking shit about people all the way back to the first month back to the first few months when we were together and she comes back from her weed dealer's house like my my weed dealer doesn't even like you I'm like what the fuck I don't even know this kid oh she was setting her ducks up way back then you know why because that's what their family did that's what her mother did her mother, not her family, her mother, okay? Her mother talked mad shit about her father. Drug dealers are coming to steal you and take you away. That's how her mother lined this shit up. So then my ex hated her father. She told me this plenty of times. Now with her brothers and sisters and cousins and everybody over on, on the other side, now they're all nice. No, 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 no. That's not what she said. And then her ex tried to kill her. That's what she said over and over again. He tried to kill me. He tried to strangle me. and beat me up. He used to beat me up all the time, right? Never mentioned me. She pulled out a restraining order against him. That girl said to me, there are things in this life that I will never tell you about. You chose to side with somebody else. You chose to move against me. I'm done. I'm done. I will never give you guys another chance to stab me in the back again. Okay? I'm living good. Life's been good. It really has. Too bad you guys aren't here to share it. And it's going to keep getting better. Going to school. She's going to school. We're getting enrolled in all different kinds of things. And I'm about to go in for the first time home by a program. I'm doing my thing. And instead of supporting me, you guys hate it deal with the consequences.